Hey guys, welcome to another video. This video is going to be simple. I'm going to show you guys how to make your Windows computer run faster. Let's go into it. Don't waste your guys' time. So let's jump in. We're going to do two things, two simple things that you can do at home. You don't need anyone else to do it. You just have the, you just have to have the willingness to learn. We're going to first upgrade the hard drive from a spinning disk hard drive to a SSD. The second thing we're going to do is upgrade the RAM from whatever it has now, which is four gigabytes around, and we're gonna input eight gigabytes. You can follow this tutorial as well. So what you may need to do with your computer is search the model, open it up, see what kind of hard drive it is, but most likely you can put in a 3.5 or 2.5 SATA SSD in place for the hard drive that you have in there. And for the RAM, go ahead and search up any kits that are compatible with your laptop. Those are the only two things that we need to make this laptop or desktop run faster. Let me show you guys how long it takes it boot, to boot into Windows right now as its current state. Literally, how long it takes. It takes literally over a minute. That is not right and that is not a usable machine. Now let's go ahead and see how long it takes to open an application. Let's go ahead with something simple, Adobe. It wasn't that bad, like 15 seconds. Now Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and try Google Chrome. I swear I clicked on it. I had to double click later, but it takes forever. And that's just to start the applications. Once you start using it, it's a lot harder. The hard drive of any computer, well, older ones, it's pretty straightforward. All you need is a Phillips screw, take out the screws, and also take out the cover for where the hard drive is. And once you take that out, you just slide it out. There's a connector to the motherboard that you just slide out. And that's the same way that you also put the SSD. Um, there's two, as you can see, two slots or two shapes that you just align the same way that corresponds with the size and you just slide it in. And the reason why we're upgrading the hard drive is because the hard drive is a movable disc, which means it's something's always spinning, which means something can break easily, but the SSD does not have moving parts. So it's more efficient and a lot faster. The RAM, the reason why we're upgrading the RAM is because RAM is random access of memory. Whatever CPU is doing, it needs memory to run those tasks. And depending on the memory size and speed, that's how fast the CPU can work and do the tasks that you do day to day, which is web browsing or if you're editing documents, such a, things of that nature. So we're going to take it out. And I could only have, well, I only have what, eight gigabyte stick. So that's what we're going to have to use. But right now, this computer had four gigabytes only. So we're doubling the RAM. So this is the new one, as you can see, and we're just gonna slide that back in, just align the little cutter that you see right there, the little gap, the same way that we took it out, we're gonna put the same in, we're just gonna align it and then push down and you're gonna hear it click and we should be good to go after that. Forgot to mention, but make sure whenever you're working with computer parts, make sure that the battery of the laptop is taken out and if you're working on a desktop, make sure it's not connected to any power source as well. And then you should be good to go. Put everything back and we're just gonna go test and make sure that the SSD is being read by the motherboard and that the RAM is also being read by the motherboard as well. So that's all you, we had to do really, nothing too complicated. It's really easy to find in all laptops. So we're gonna slide this in and we're gonna turn this back on and let's see what kind of speeds we're getting. Guys, I forgot to mention one additional step that we will need to do to make this computer faster. I forgot to mention it, but I'm mentioning it now. We will reinstall Windows 10. Why are we doing that? Because Windows 10 is a functional operating system, but at the same time, it's not an optimized operating system. The longer you have Windows 10 installed on your machine, the more old services, the more stuff that's just bloatware that you know, accumulates over time, which takes up a lot more resources than it should. And we need as much resources as we, as much as we can, we need to have it available because we're on older hardware, so we don't have that much. So reinstalling it is crucial. All right, guys, here are the final results. Booted it up, new RAM, new hard drive, reinstalled Office. We're opening up browsers. We're opening up an Office application. We're gonna multitask. And as of right now, you can see how fast that browser opened. Back then, it took like 
30 to 40 seconds to open up Google Chrome. I opened Firefox within 10 seconds. I have OBS running at the same time as well. So uh, let's see, I'm multitasking. I'm writing a document. I wanna watch some YouTube, you know. Let me see what I can do. Maybe I wanna open something else. Let me go ahead into my directory. I gotta multitask. I'm not just doing one thing at a time. I wanna multitask. That's why I did all these upgrades. So let's see if it goes through. So let me go ahead. I'm working in Office, but you know what? I need to use Adobe. I need to open up some files. Let's go ahead and open some files. All right, it's taking a little long, but trust me, guys, from what I was, the results from before, before doing any of this was horrible. Like, this computer was not usable. But as you can see, you can actually get stuff done here. If you're in a pinch and you just want to get this computer up and running, you can. And I'm, out, I'm actually really impressed. I'm going to go ahead and just start spamming some websites just to show you guys that this, this computer is capable. Of course, there's no, you know, crazy graphics card in here, so some 3D processing will not be able to be done, but it is what it is. We have to set some realistic expectations, and as of now, the expectations are being met for our circumstances. So, this is this is great to me. I don't know about you guys, but let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys think there's something better I could have done or if you guys have some alternative ways to make your computer faster or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, guys, that was the video. Just wanted to make a quick video on the easiest things that you can do to make your computer faster. Of course, it's not going to make it as fast as a brand new computer, but if you want to salvage that old, you know, hardware that you have and make it usable to some extent, well, that's one way to go. Like I said, guys, if the hardware is several years old, hey, we got to do what we got to do to make it fast, but let's not, you know, hope it's going to be brand new fast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something new. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.